So you, we will, especially when you decide to go on this path and take this path of healing and set that intention out into the universe, this stuff is going to come up. We're going to have face to face with our demons. They're going to present themselves to us. We can't avoid it because this is what, this is the path we're all on, whether we like it or not. And this is what really healing is. It's about making peace with the past. It's healing the past. And ultimately it comes down to self-forgiveness, which is often harder than forgiveness of other people. Because we've judged ourselves. We're our own judge and executioner. And all those things, and it's all the conditioning, the way we've been brought up by our parents, the way we've been brought up by culture and society, what we've been taught is right and wrong. Yeah, that leaves a mark, that leaves a scar. And that we are the sum of our conditioning. And it's not just from this life, if you follow these traditions, it's also from thousands of other lifetimes. So it's a real big job that we have, because we have this massive reservoir of pain, <laughs> which is just under the surface, which, you know, some people are face to face with it on a daily, on a daily basis, it could be through illness, it could be through difficult personal relationships. But these things are going to come up, and I'm sure, you know, we've all had experience of this. We're all on this path of healing. We're all looking to purify our subconscious, really. It's all down to, at the end of the day, it's down to beliefs. What we believe about ourselves. And those beliefs are formed by the experiences and by the sanskaras, the scars, the impressions. Think of every experience as a grain of sand. Every experience is a grain of sand. And then when you put all those grains of sand together and you melt them down to form a lens into glass, make a lens. And that is the lens that we view life with. Yeah, it's a combination of our experiences and our beliefs because experiences lead to beliefs. We make conclusions based on our experiences. So we're all experiencing life through a lens. We're not perceiving life as it truly is. And a lot of the traditions, including you know, talk about this, that it's all relative. This is all relative. Based on what we've experienced and who we are. We all see things slightly differently. We share one unified reality, yes. It's an agreement that we're all experiencing. But we all have our own slight different interpretation of this reality. Yeah. 